outfit number one is this beautiful cream on cream outfit that I absolutely love. It's just very kind of soft and ethereal and super comfortable for the summertime. If it's a little cooler, you can throw something on like a sweater or a wrap. But it's just this beautiful ruffled cream tank top and a cream broomstick skirt and these really comfortable wedges. The tank is originally from J. Crew, and I thrifted it. The skirt is originally from Abercrombie and is super old. And the Uggs the Ugg wedges I picked up at TJ Maxx. I just think this is a really pretty one. I'd probably wear this out on a date or out to dinner. I just think it's a really fun, kind of casual outfit. Casually romantic. Then this outfit is something I would definitely wear if I went to something like a music festival in the evening or early fall. I think this is great. It's just a vintage leather suede tunic that I thrifted. And I'm wearing it over cut off shorts because it's a little too short, but you could easily swap out the shorts for leggings. It was a little bit cooler. I've got these little gray suede angle booties that I picked up at TJ Maxx, and they are from Sam Edelman. And I paired a Target hat that I thrifted with a silk bandana that I tied around. And I just, I love this look. I think it's perfect for the kind of vibe that you see at Coachella or things like that. It's kind of casual, kind of laid back, still super comfortable, and really inexpensive. And back to serious posing. <laughs> is just this kind of quasi sexy quasi granny chic you could definitely swap out the wedges for something more dramatic like high heels and ditch the sweater I like it because it takes a very sexy dress and it's very form-fitting it's got these double super high slips on each leg um, and it kind of tries to bring it down back to earth a little bit so I'm wearing the same Ugg wedges. You know how I love to restyle the same pieces with different outfits to try and show different ideas on how to wear one piece multiple ways to get the most money out of your piece. And I've got this beautiful Free People sweater that I don't remember where I got actually. It was a gift and I'm not sure where it came from, but it was originally from Free People and it's got these beautiful latticework cage sleeves. The dress is from Bebe. Uh, outfit number four is just this super cute, it's kind of my modern take on the hippie chic. Um, it's just true religion cut off jeans that I made myself into cut off shorts, uh, the same gray suede ankle booties, this adorable little peasant blouse with crochet insets along the upper sleeve you can see there, and this fringe vest. The shirt is from Free People and I thrifted it. And the vest is by LA Made or La Made, I know LA Made. <laughs> and I love it. It's crochet, it's fringe, it's very 70s inspired. You can totally take it off if you want to. This outfit is one of my favorites. I love the colors, I love the flirtiness. I thrifted this blouse and it's originally by Don Van Furstenberg. I love the tie dye, I love the bell sleeves and the peasant style. I just paired it on top of a print blouse, which is my little secret there. You can totally get away with pairing prints on top of prints. And I paired with a cute sort of little skirt they thrifted. I think that's my free people as well. And my vintage riding boots, which are normally what I ride horses in, but uh, they got a day out and got to be dressed up for fashion today. I just I think the colors are really fun for this outfit. And I would definitely wear this out. No questions asked. I would love to wear this somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I will. This hands down is my favorite outfit. I love it. It's just a J. Crew chambray shirt dress, although it looks like I'm wearing my boyfriend's button down. That would probably work too. A vintage braided belt with this huge belt buckle and my gorgeous vintage Lucasa boots, which are, I love them. The shirt dress is a little too short for me, so I put them over the same pair of denim cutoffs. I love this outfit. I would wear this anywhere, probably out to like a fair or something. You know, if they were playing music and I wanted to eat corn dog, this would be great. I love this. It's kind of cute, it's kind of sexy, but it's still super comfortable. And in my, it's very much my style. I just love it. And every single thing I'm wearing has been thrifted. <laughs> very vintage inspired. I, I really love this outfit. 
this one is something I think would be great if you're actually spending a lot of time at a music festival and you don't have time to shower or wash your hair. The braid and the bandana hide a multitude of sins. And it is just great. It's this cute little beaded crochet top and these adorable paisley fringe denim shorts. The shorts I got at TJ Maxx and are by Rachel Roy Denim. And the beaded top I just thrifted and I don't think it actually has a label in it. And I apparently was too lazy to style shoes with this. <laughs> so, oh well. <laughs> Flip flops, that'll work. <laughs> then this last outfit is kind of my take on City Does Country. It's not something I've ever seen any real country girl wear. It's just kind of like a sassy little nod to the prairie roots with this beautiful blue and cream gingham checked button down from J. Crew. And I thrifted that, of course. And the little denim vest is by Paper Cloth and Denim that I got at TJ Maxx. And then, of course, the same cutoffs and boots. Like I said, love restyling pieces. Those boots and shorts were in almost every single outfit, practically. And you can tell that they can pick up a different vibe depending on how you style them. I think this is a super cute outfit. I just think it's quite comfortable. And yeah, if you have anything in your wardrobe that looks kind of like this, it's a really easy thing to throw together and run out the door. Also, if you guys take any photos of your inspiration on how you would style a kind of prairie rose Midwest look, please be sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter and I will go like and favorite those photos because I love seeing how you guys style stuff. It, it gives me ideas and I love seeing everyone else's take on it. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I put a lot of hours into this. Also, subscribe. I love seeing you guys and talking to you. All my links will be listed down below, including a blog post, an inspiration board, and another makeup and hair tutorial on this look. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Love you. Bye. And if I sound really weird, it's because I haven't had a lot of caffeine. It's early in the morning. Okay. Love you. Bye.